everybody so I thought I would do a kind of more in-depth makeup I don't really know if it's a collection or how I organize or what I have but I thought I'd do one of those so this is my vanity I've had this for many a moon I got it from Pier 1 it's the Hayworth collection not sure if they still sell it but I really love it and I'm really glad I got it it was saying that I wanted for a long time of course I'm sure you've seen it before almost all the youtubers have had this or have it but I love it. It suits my needs. Um, I used to have a lot more makeup. I used to be kind of a um, hoarder a little bit. Not a hoarder. I just used to be a major collector of makeup. I also used to be a makeup artist. I worked for Clinique and I did freelance. But um, that since has changed. And also I've just kind of come to a point in life where I just... I used to feel like the more I had, the better it was. Even if I didn't use it. But it's really not the key. It's what you have... If you use it, then it works for you. If you don't, it just sits there and takes up space. So I've gotten rid of um, a lot of stuff. I swap a lot. I sell some stuff. I give a lot to a friend of mine who's just starting in makeup. So I know probably a lot of you guys are going to be like, you still have a lot of makeup. And probably a lot of you are going to be like, wow, you don't have much. It's a collection that I am comfortable with. So this is what I have. Um, there's my stool. In this little pink container, I keep makeup items that didn't work for me. So it's items that I'm either going to swap or give to a friend. And then I have my cute out of Lucy trash can that my bestie got me for my birthday, which is adorable. And then let's just start with this little drawer. I don't have too much in here. Um, in here I have just a couple random things, um, some beeswax, a hair clip, random. Here I keep these headbands. These are the only headbands I can wear without getting a headache. I love them, but um, I don't see them very often. And then here I just keep elastics and bobby pins. Then back here I just kind of have some random things that I don't use very often but I still use or like some backups like I have a bunch of extra lip balms back here, um, a bunch of the gel liners that are my favorite, they're the physician, Physician's Formula, and then this which is something new I'm kind of testing out. Um, I have a little palette in here that somebody sent me, a random brush, I have some invisible tape, a Dior sample, and a backup of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream which is amazing if you guys want. Uh, a lighter coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's, it's good. I like it. So that's just what I keep in that drawer. Just kind of some extra miscellaneous items. And then these I got, I think, is it Muji.com? M-U-J-I.com. They have a lot of clear drawers. So I got, this is one set, this is another set, and this is another set. So I have three sets of those. And then these two plastic three drawers, I honestly don't know where I got them. I'm thinking Amazon, if not something similar. Uh, this is a mail letter sorter I got at a um, discount store. And then this is just an acrylic lipstick holder, which, ugh, nobody wants to see me, which I got probably off Amazon. And then, um, other than that, for makeup, I have a vintage lady vase, which holds my brushes. I have a vintage lipstick holder, which holds some of my lip balms. And then I also have this other little vintage one that I just put up there because it was in the wrong spot which just has some random makeup so let's start off with lippies i try to have them color coordinated from kind of light to dark so these are my clears and nudes which i like this one probably these two are my favorite nudes the nyx and then the kate rimmel london amazing nudes and i'm very pale so it's hard for me to pull off a nude these look really good i like those and then the second drawer i have kind of lighter pink so like Victoria's Secrets, I really like the NYX glosses. They're just, they're awesome. I've got some Clinique, some NYC, some Makeup Artist Academy, um, some like Korean lip products. Just kind of fun things like that. And then this, whoo, this is more of my hot pinks. Um, I have like some, what is, is this Chanel? I have some L'Oreal, Wet n Wild, uh, Givon, or no, Guerlain, uh, Physician's Formula, Revlon. A little bit of everything. I like drugstore and high-end. I like trying it all, so a little bit of everything. And then down here I have um, light to darker purples, so kind of fun. This is something I've been trying out. It is, it's one of the lip stains. It's a big Korean and Asian trend. It's one of those things that you put on your lips, you peel it off, and the color stays, so I've been having fun playing with that. Uh, this is a cute little long comb one. The Lip Lovers, these are awesome lip glosses. They are a little bit pricey, but they're a very buttery finish and almost feel like a lip balm on your lips while they give great color. Um, this is fun. It's a Korean lip product. It acts like a stain, which is fun. So I have those. And then these are my darker purples, like really dark vampy colors. And then it starts going into red. 
I'm not really going over anything in particular, just kind of showing you how I organize my items. And then my red lipsticks. Lipsticks I tend to buy a lot of. I had uh, a lot more than this, but I got rid of the ones I wasn't wearing because they're just sitting there. And one thing that always helps me get rid of things is I think I'm not using it. There's somebody out there who could really enjoy this and get so much happiness from this, whether it's a shirt that I'm not wearing or it's a lipstick that I didn't like. Somebody out there could get so much joy from this because I remember, I mean, even now when I go and I buy like a really cool new lipstick, I get excited. It makes me happy. Or if I find like a really cute top that's on sale, it makes, it makes me happy. So that's one thing that kind of helps me when I'm like going through things, whether it be makeup or clothes or DVDs or shoes is that if it's not bringing me joy, it could bring somebody else joy. So, little organizing tip there. So those are all my lipsticks and lip glosses and lip stains. In this drawer then, I keep my lip liners, um, just kind of going from nude to pink to red to dark and then to a clear lip liner. And then over here I have a couple make makeup um, lip brushes. I have like a, like an e.l.f. one, a Lancome, and Clinique. So I used to work for Clinique and I also sold um, Lancome, Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden and fragrance. So some of the stuff that you see is from those days, but that was another lifetime ago. And then I start getting into eye items. So these are kind of all, sorry, the camera's going to shake for a minute. These are kind of all of my things that can be used as primers. So I have like the Maybelline color tattoos. I have like a Chanel ombre. It's like a color tattoo. I have my Clinique chubby sticks. These things are awesome. Um, my NYX, the Revlon, these I'm still kind of playing around with. I'm not loving them, but I really want them to work. So, it's like, I'm giving them a try. If I don't like them, out they go. But these are things that can be either worn alone or worn under eyeshadows to pack more of a pigment, more of a punch. And then I have kind of, like, my little, like, trios and quads and things. So, I have, like, a bunch of Clinique ones, Wet n' Wild, Revlon, Maybelline, um, another Maybelline one, more Clinique. <clears throat> Just keep those in there. And then down here I have little palettes and quads. This was actually my first MAC, Ooh, my first MAC quad. I bought it off of um, a makeup group on Facebook, I think, or I swapped for it or something. <laughs> I was so excited. So this is kind of a, a sentimental thing. It's hard for me to get rid of, but they are nice neutral shadows, which is nice. Um, I have a bunch of my Lancome. I really grew to love Lancome. It was kind of something that I never really paid much attention to until I started working for Clinique and I started selling Lancome also. It really is a great makeup brand. Their eyeshadows are amazing. Actually, my best friend has like become completely addicted to them because they're the only eyeshadows that will stay on her lids because she's a little bit more oily. Just great brand. So those are just kind of those things. And then I guess I'll just kind of go in order instead of jumping around. This is just a little mirror. I bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond forever ago. I am very nearsighted and farsighted. <laughs> I have really bad vision. So I have to hold this like up to an inch to my face. So it helps me to have a little handheld mirror. This is kind of fun. This is a vintage lipstick, almost like a ring. You put this over your lipstick. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. You put it like this on your lipstick and then um, not only does it look pretty, but it has... I can't open it. It has a mirror inside, but I can't open it with one hand. But it's just, it's really cool, and I love vintage makeup items, so I had to buy that. I think I got it for like a dollar at the consignment shop I work at, so yeah. Oh, I can't get it out, but there we go. And then here I keep um, kind of like my nicer lipsticks. I have my Macs. I have a couple Issa Laurent, a couple Dior's, and then my MAC lip glosses. Um... A lot of these are like limited edition ones like the Betty and Veronica collection or Archie collection, which was my favorite collection they've ever done. Uh, Archie is very sentimental for me. It brings up a lot of memories. So very fun. Then like my Wonder Woman. Um, the Dior lip glosses are really fun. They're a splurge, but it's I really like them. And then I got these Ellen Tracy lip glosses for my birthday, so I've cut them here to kind of test them out see how I like them. And then in these two three drawers, I keep um, highlighters, contour bronzers, and blushes, most of them. So I have, these are just kind of like palettes that have all of them in it, like a blush, highlight, and a contour. So I have the It Cosmetics. I have a couple Wonder Woman from MAC. And then in here I have highlights, the Heart Candy one. I'm not a fan of this. I keep trying to make it work, but it's just not working for me, um, which is kind of disappointing because I think it was like $8, which is kind of expensive for a Heart Candy, but it's just not working. I have a couple of the Archie. These were actually um, considered blushes, but they're they really were more of a highlight, I, I think, in my opinion. So, just pretty. I love those. And then down here I have um, 
some more highlights. I have ColourPop one, Laura Geller, a Maybelline, Wet n Wild. This one is awesome. For three or four dollars, you get a lot of product and you do get the contour in there too or bronzer, which is awesome. Then I just have some tissues over here. I have this, which I've been playing around with. It's the Manic Panic Dream Tone um, Virgin Whitest White Foundation. This, <laughs> I'm so pale. I put this on my bare skin and blended it in and you couldn't tell I was wearing it. So yeah, but I mostly got it just to kind of play around with, um, do some Halloween things with it, try some different makeup looks, doing um, kind of a pale skin. Well, I'm very pale, but doing an even paler skin look. And also, um, I got this because I really have a hard time finding foundation that is light enough for my skin tone because normally the lightest shade is too dark. So I saw a girl who used this on YouTube and she mixed it kind of half and half with the lightest foundation that MAC makes, which is actually very close to being my shade, but still a little bit dark. So I thought that was a good idea because a lot of times I found foundations that I like, but they're just too dark for me. So I thought I'd try that out. And then I got this. It's kind of a beauty blender knockoff. I've been trying it out to see how I like it. Got it at five below for like $3. This is my holy grail. I love it. I'm so excited. I have been trying desperately to find a foundation that works for my skin since it has changed um, due to health issues and just, I think just getting older, my skin has changed a lot. So probably for the past two, three years, I've been looking for foundation and I've tried every drugstore one, but I finally splurged and got the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I am the lightest shade. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm still playing around with it. I'm loving it so far. Um, then over on this side is have couple brushes that didn't fit in my brush holder, um, powder brush. This is kind of fun. I got this off the Wish app. I think it was like a dollar. I'm still playing around with it. It's kind of new. It's it, it's fun. I, it's not a must-have, but it's it's very pretty and it's a very vintage -y style makeup brush because it's what they used to have back like in the 40s, so kind of fun. And then I just have a little travel size Urban Decay setting spray. I have re-fallen back in love with this. I used to use this every day. I don't know why, but I stopped using it and I started it again. I really like it. It does make a difference in your makeup. Oh, I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> and then over here in this little... Um, kind of like filing organizer that I got. I keep my larger palette, so I have like my NARS um, Guy, Bourdain, Guy Bourdain. I have a MAC palette in here that I have actually Clinique blushes in that I depotted or came depotted. Um, Smashbox exposure, you can tell I like that one. I have the Revealed. Not a fan of this one, but I'm still trying to make it work before I decide to get rid of it. And then back here I have Z palettes. These are actually all Clinique eyeshadows that I got while I was working there. Um, as are these, and as are these. <laughs> I had uh, quite the Clinique collection when I worked there. Uh, it was kind of mandatory because you had to wear their makeup. Then I have the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette back there. I have all my Nakeds and the Electric palette. This one's fun. I don't get a ton of wear of it, but in the summertime I do like lining my waterline with NYX. Is it Cottage Cheese? The white one. And then putting, packing this over it and it gives a really fun, cool look for the summer. And it's still not too bold because I, I don't really do bold eyes uh, color wise like I don't do bright colors a lot because they just don't look that good on me but I can actually pull off the waterline. Um, I have a Revlon lash curler, my chart, and then this is just kind of like a little z I put together. I, it's like I have like kind of all the basic eyeshadows. I have some powders I can use for highlighting for my brows, a blush, this which acts as um, this is the Wet n Wild Oh, I can't forget, it's my favorite eyeshadow ever, but it it's kind of like my skin tone, so I can use it to, like, um, kind of conceal things and add a little bit extra. Uh, this is a necklace, which shouldn't be there. I have my Maybelline baby lips. I have a little Givenchy little tower, which is adorable. And then over here, I have um, the rest of my face and blush products. So these are all the pinks. Got Clinique, MAC, these are awesome. I'm not a big fan of Clinique's regular line blushes, but if you guys can get a hold of these Color Pops, they are incredible. The pigmentation is crazy on them. They don't have very many colors, but the colors I do have are great. I have uh, Berry Pop, and then I have uh, Plum Pop. Like I said, I'm not, these are actually, I keep them in here. These are the original Clinique blushes, very old school packaging, not really pigmented. I'm not, not a big fan of those. These, you, a little dab in, on your blot, on your brush and you're set. I love them. They are awesome. They actually, which is cool, they have eyeshadows out that have the same packaging and the same flower on them. I've heard they're amazing. I haven't seen them yet in person, but I've heard they're good. And then down here I have more pinks and darker pinks. Um, some MAC, Position Formula, 
And then on here I kind of have like the darker colors. Uh, this one's really pretty. If you guys ever get a chance to pick this one up, it was limited edition from I believe two summers ago. It's the See Me, Hear Me. It's it's just a beautiful color and it looks amazing on so many skin tones. Then I have a lot of Lancome ones. As I said, I love Lancome, so lots of Lancome back there. I've got a old Archie one. <clears throat> So that is pretty much it for the face other than the two palettes I have up here for blush. And then I have this little doll head that I just stuck up here. I've been trying out, I don't know why, but I'm on a huge mascara craze where I just want to try every mascara I can have. So I recently did an event at the shop I work at where I had different vendors come and one of the vendors was Avon. So I was like, oh, she's got a mascara. So I bought it. It's the Big and False Lash by Avon. Um, it was $7. I actually really like it. The only complaint I have is it's really wet. But I think within a week or two, it'll dry up enough to where it's kind of perfect. And then I have another Ellen Tracy lip gloss back there. And then over here, I have like the rest of my eye items and then like my everyday things. So these are um, some more singles and then just like little, like little mini palettes basically. This is one of my favorite items. It's from Hard Candy. It is high maintenance. It's a baked eyeshadow, uh, not quad, duo. It looks amazing and it looks great on really anybody. I've seen YouTubers use it with like medium skin tones, dark skin tones. It is beautiful. I love it. So that's definitely a must buy if you are at Walmart. I would pick that up if you can. And here I kind of just have my beauty tools. I have like a Purell. Ooh, Brulee, that's it. This is Wet n Wild Brulee. This is their 99 cent um, eyeshadow icon shadow. I use this um, all over my lids just kind of cancel out any pink or redness. I use this on top of my concealer to give it more coverage. It's awesome. If you're pale, pick this up for 99 cents. It's a good deal. Uh, I got an Anastasia little brow gel. I have a Smashbox primer. This I use on my eyebrows because I can't handle tweezing anymore. The pain, for some reason, is extremely intense. I don't know why. So it's just, <laughs> excuse me, it's just a little electric razor. I have some colored mascaras I don't use very often, but I have them here if I need them. Um, under eye stuff, some brow tools, cotton swabs. So just kind of like tools that I need sometimes and I grab for. In this drawer, I have my eyeliners. This was something that was hard for me to get rid of. I got rid of a lot of them because I just didn't use them. So I just kind of have them going from white to nude to brown to green to purple to blue and then to hot pink. So these are the ones that I really love. In the summertime, I tend to use more of the bright colors. And then in the fall and winter, I tend to use the darker ones. So it's just kind of fun to mix mix it up a little bit. And here I have a clear drawer, which is like really impressive for me. And I was very proud of myself to have an empty drawer. Um, and then in here, these are the makeup items that I use on a daily basis. So I guess I'll just show you guys kind of really quickly what I use almost every day, if not every day. Um, for the primer, I've been using the, the Pore Professional by Benefit. Not a big fan, but I have it. So I want to use it up. Um, and then of course the Kat Von D, but it doesn't fit in there. And then I've been using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I have the shade Light. So I've been liking that for um, just kind of make everything look a little bit nicer. This is something I've been playing with. It is the Shy Beam from Benetint Benefit in Dandelion. This is a newer highlight, which is kind of fun to play with. So I've been trying that out. Um, my eyebrows, I always use this. It's Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. I use the darker shade right there. I love it. This is something that I found in an old makeup bag, so I thought I'd try it again. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, it's a treatment and concealer. Not loving it, but again, it's kind of one of those things that I have, so I just want to use it, and it's not something that I don't, I don't think anybody would want to swap for it, so just kind of using it up. Um, an oldie but a goodie Urban Decay Primer Potion. I found this helps a lot with my um, eyeliner to stay in place. And then I've been using this one too. This is a Lancome Hypnos Drama. It's just a little travel size. I like this one. It's a really, really good mascara, especially when you pair it with a Seals Booster from Lancome. It is the mascara primer. Whenever you use mascara primer, you're going to get amazing results with your lashes. So a little tip there. Um, this is something I picked up recently. I'm having a really hard time finding concealer um, with my skin tone. I'm just I'm having a heck of a time. So this is the Super Stay by Maybelline. I don't like it that much, but I'm like I said, I bought it. I can't return it, so trying to get my money's worth out of it. Um, I have the Scandalize Rimmel Eyeliner. This is a felt tip liquid liner. Not the best in the world, but it, it'll do until it runs out and I get something else. This little guy, he's hanging on for dear life. He's my Rimmel London Eyeliner. I use this to tight line with. It's amazing. Goes on super creamy and it lasts all day. It lasts better than the East Say the Romp eyeliners and it lasts better than Urban K. So, and he's way cheaper, but yeah, I'm using him within an inch of his life. Ah, 
and I dropped him. I abused him so much. And then this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Eye Brightening Concealer. This I like. I use that under my eyes and it does help brighten up a little bit. So I'm liking that. This is something I don't use a lot, but I like to use it on the inner corners of my eyes. It's a little elf. It's like a little eyeshadow. It's just kind of pretty. A little bit of glisten. This is the, um, it's, wow, it's really rubbed off. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Light. This I have a love-hate relationship with. I, I like it under my eyes, but it's very thick, so you have to work with it a little bit more. It's really good for um, acne, but it can look kind of cakey and dry, so it's just, you kind of have to work with it a little bit. And then I have another mascara, a little sample of the They're Real by Benefit. I really like this one a lot. As you can tell, I'm on a mascara kick right now. So this video is getting really long. Here's just a little overview of it again. I would love to see if you guys have um, like a video on what is in your vanity or how you organize your makeup. I'd love to see it. Sorry if this video ran a little bit long. If you guys made it to the end, give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.